All right, guys, welcome to Adam McCullough TV. As you can see, we're back at Old Trafford. Three days after Derby Day disappointment, United have another Premier League fixture, and this time it's Bournemouth. Bournemouth, we drew 1-1 with last year. Remember that old Zlatan against Ming's old little elbow and all them shenanigans. And then, of course, uh, we dropped points in that game, having took the lead through Marcus Rojo. United here today, we need to get three points. It's that simple. And we're looking for a reaction from the Manchester United players. Now, to me, to be honest, on the way up, I've been feeling pretty, pretty confident. I've been feeling like we're going to see a reaction from the players. Um, and hopefully, we do here today. Now, we were on a great run at Old Trafford. And unfortunately, that run was halted by Manchester City but we need to get back on it again. We can't be feeling sorry for ourselves. And you know what, it's December. You can't write anything off yet. Anything can happen. So we just need to keep going, keep plugging away, get another run going and bounce back like Manchester United only can do. Now, just as we're heading over to Hotel Football for the live team news and all that on full-time Devils, we're hearing Angel Gomez has signed a new contract at Manchester United. Obviously, it's not a boost to the first team here today, but it is a boost to the future of the first team and, of course, to the academy system at Manchester United. Angel Gomez has been sought after by some big, big clubs. You're looking at Barcelona, Real Madrid, etc. And to get him signed up to a new deal was exactly what United needed to do. I'd been worrying about this one. And thankfully, Angel Gomez has signed the contract. Action! <laughs> Yes, just finished the live stream with full-time Devils. The team news is in. Uh, you've just seen it on the screen. David De Gea, Valencia, Shaw, Smalling, Jones, Matic, McTominay, Mata, Lingard, Martial, and of course, Romelu Lukaku. I'm here with Abdullah. Abdullah, how you feeling, man? Um, cool. Feel Still feeling it after Derby Day? Yeah, it's just feeling like, um, let's just get this win, but... It's a soccer uh, for punch, me, that, For it? me, yeah, it's that West Brom game. If we get a win there, obviously, just before Pogba comes back, then gets our confidence back, but... This should be a simple game for us. I mean, yes, the likes of McTominay are starting, but lack of options, like I said to you guys earlier. Um, so, yeah, let's just uh, hope we get the win tonight. Going for a 2-0. Tony need to score first. I'm going for you, know. Do the job. You think the Kaki's going to bounce back? We don't, we don't do fouls without Pogba. Come on, we, we can, we can. Pogba. You think the Kaki's going to bounce back? Yeah, Lukaku will score. Tony and Lukaku to score. 2-0 United. Yeah. Luke Shaw starts. Yeah, I'm happy Did because he was front line with Jose? Yeah. <laughs> Straight away, two hours later after that comes out. Um, he's saying that is yeah, relationship the relationship yeah, started. That's what you get. I mean, we want to see Axel as well. Eh? Do you come out rushing? So, so yeah. But let's hope we get the win tonight and against West Brom as well. And get bounce back. Come on, United. Fucking pissing down. In Bosby Bay, when they're playing in your town, football talk by Matt Busby, oh Manchester, Manchester United, Romelu Lukaku, Man United number nine, Romelu Lukaku, Rom, Rom, Romelu, Romelu Lukaku, Man United number nine. Man United number nine. Rom, Rom, Romelu, Romelu Lukaku. Man United number nine. Romelu Lukaku. Rom, Rom, Romelu. Man United number nine. Twelve cats and eyes. Eleven cats and eyes. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five cantonas, four cantonas, three cantonas, two and an eight cantonas. So 
to half time there you have it 1-0 to Manchester United Romelu Lukaku popping up with a goal crucial goal as well he needed that um, obviously he didn't have the best of games against Manchester City but managed to get on the score sheet there today it was a good ball across to him as well on the back post and he beat his defender to make it 1-0 United going forward we've not looked too bad Luke Shaw's looked good defensively and going forward but the game is not over yet. Bournemouth are still in this game and uh, United need to put it to bed in the second half. But so far, so good. Come on, Red. Let them know it's Christmas time. Feed the Scousers. Let them know it's Christmas time. Substitution for Manchester United, replacing number 11, Anthony Martial. Tony Marshall came for France. English press said he had no chance. 50 million down the drain. Tony Marshall scores again. Tony Marshall brings the first. In the first place, he has no Two on the counter attack. <laughs> He's your man of the match so far. I like what Scott McTominay's doing, to be quite honest. I like, I like him in midfield. He seems to grow into games. It was the same thing against Basel, where he started quite slow. But this second half, he's been playing some absolutely fantastic football. Great passes, great running with the ball. So Luke Shaw just got a standing ovation as well. He, he did, yeah. Uh, he had that moment as well when he was on that right on the on the left wing, and there was acres ahead of him, and, it, and he stopped and didn't believe in himself, then Rhea believed in himself. So <laughs> improvement, right? Yeah, come definitely. on, come on. Just heading out now, 1-0 uh, to Manchester United, a uh, win we very, very much needed. Uh, Romelu Lukaku with a goal we very, very much needed as well. Uh, but big talking points for me would be McTominay's and Luke Shaw's performances. I thought they were excellent today. McTominay, particularly in the second half, Luke Shaw throughout the first and the second, going forward and defending, he was very good today. So happy with that, happy to get back into winning ways. And of course, um, City won today. So. We just got to keep plugging away and keep going. Uh, but good result today, given the, the situation we were in. Rashford hitting the post, uh, Jesse slipping at the, the vital point um, when we had chances in the second half. But thankfully, we got over the line. Anyway, fan cam time. Just finished fan cam and look who it is. It's Borsha versus you guys may remember him from the comments section. How you doing, man? Not too bad, not too bad. Man. Good to see you. Feeling good after that? A little bit cold? A little bit cold, look, three points. Yeah. I don't know about the performance. I think the best thing that happened today was Angel Graham was signing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, <laughs> I think that was probably the best thing that happened today. What do you make of Luke Shaw's performance? Let's look at some passes. Oh, brilliant. I'm just, I'm just worried he's putting him out there to sell him yeah. in January. After the scrap in the tunnel, it looks like he's made oh, friends yeah, with him now. Look, I thought today, I think, <laughs> man of the match is Massa. I think he should have started. Great pass before. for the goal as well. Yeah. Everything he does in that midfield just controls the well. And he, we've seen that against Moscow the, the week before, so I don't know why he, he didn't start him um, yeah. in the derby. You're still, you're still feeling confident about it. I know City are at the top of the league, 11 points, but we're doing a lot better than last season, right? Yeah, we are. We are moving in yeah. the right direction. I think we're on more points than we were last season as well. We're closer to the top than we were last season. But, better um, results. Um, 11 points, 11 points is going to be And this was another game that we drew last season but won this season That's so right, yeah. happy Look, uh, with 11 points it's going to be hard It is going to be hard, gonna be hard but nevertheless Borsha all I can say is thank you for subscribing thank man you, Adam. Whenever I see subscribers Guys right, make sure you subscribe to Full Time Devils and Adam McCullough So just finished at Hotel Football uh, with the live stream, fan cams, all that good stuff done There's Chris working on getting them up now but by the time you see this they're already on Full Time Devils so check them out on the forecourt, 
1-0 today, so a few final thoughts before I head home. Um, a result that we very, very much needed. I wanted to see a bit more of a reaction in terms of a performance today, but with the conditions the way they were, we could have had a few more goals as well if Rashford, Jesse doesn't slip, Rashford's goal shot hits the post, goes in. We could have had a few more goals, but to be fair, Bournemouth could have as well. So to get three points was crucial and to get those three points today, I'm absolutely delighted with that. With West Ham drawing with Arsenal, Liverpool drawing with West Brom. We've moved two more points clear of those guys too. Um, and I think at the moment we're comfortably in second spot. But City, of course, are 11 points clear of us. And that's why the mood at the moment is a little bit strange. Yes, United are doing a lot better than last season. But we are well off the pace in terms of the title race. Now, Manchester City are doing an awful good job of it. Pep Guardiola didn't have as much dead wood in his squad um, in terms of to get rid of um, when he came into the job. So I think Jose Mourinho's job has been a lot bigger. Um, and I think the progress we have made has still been good. But, of course, we do want to catch City. And we need to keep, I was going to say, on their coattails. We're not really on their coattails. But we just need to keep behind them in case, just in case, they do slip up. Because still an awful long way to go. And loads of difficult games to come as well. But, yeah, on a, on a rainy, sleety, snowy day here at Old Trafford, it's finally stuck now. Um, I can head home. United get three points. Luke Shaw is back in form and he's my man of the match. McTominay does well. And Romelu Lukaku's back in the goals. Job well done by Manchester United. And now, onto the weekend's game against West Bromwich Albion. Anyway, I've been Adam McCola. You guys have been legends. Make sure you like, share and subscribe. I'm out of here.